Hi everyone, Valefor here, and welcome to another devlog. This one is going to be a long one, so buckle up, grab something to eat, something to drink, and let's see what changed in the project. Now, I know I haven't been active for a while on YouTube, um, I haven't been posting any updates or videos on the project, but be assured that the project is still well and alive and we've actually made a lot of progress on a lot of different things in the game. I'm so excited about all the changes and stuff that's been happening behind the scenes that I just couldn't hold it any longer. So that's why I'm making this video for you now to give you an update on what's been happening. Even though it might not look like a lot has changed in the actual game, a lot of stuff has happened in the background, so I'll try to briefly talk about the most important things. Uh, obviously I won't cover everything because then there wouldn't be anything to reveal in the future, but hopefully this video um, will make you guys happy and you'll like what you're going to see. Let's kick things off with one of the most important things that happened for me personally. So I have created a company. Vale for Games Limited is now a fully legal actual game company. So how this is going to work is under this name and under my company I will be able to release Glide on Steam one day and also I will be able to work together with other companies. So yeah, I feel like thanks to this people will start treating me a lot more serious as well. At the moment the company itself is dormant because I don't trade under it, obviously I don't earn any money from it, I don't have any people to pay, so I don't use it at the moment, but it's there and this also helps me to protect Glide as the IP, uh, because it's now obviously the property of mine and of my company as well. So yeah, overall, really good, I'm very happy of it and I think this is going to make a massive positive impact on the game and on the project overall. So yeah, very exciting times. So, with all the company stuff out of the way, I just wanted to quickly thank one person at this point in the video. And that person is our music composer, funnily enough, NWDM. He is the one who joined me on this project and helped me with music. But also, it turns out, he's also a programmer for his own little game. He has developed his own combat system that he's using for his game and he mentioned that maybe we could use the same system for Glide as it's working very well for him. We've managed to modify it a little, adapt it to the 3D environment of Glide and yeah, it's, it's working pretty well. Uh, while it's still a bit buggy and we have to fix a lot of stuff, uh, what you're going to see in this video is raw state of the system, but it already looks so good, in my opinion at least. I mean, you'll give me your own opinions after the video, right? So yeah, overall this helped so much and now thanks to this system I also know what kind of direction I want to take Glide in, how the combat will look like. Um, so yeah, uh, very exciting times. It's now going to be a lot easier to implement new attacks and moves and stuff like this, especially with uh, NWDM on board. So yeah, I'm really really happy about this. Without further ado then, let's take a look at some first elements of the combat system and this being the user interface. The user interface, or UI for short, is basically something that helps you in combat and also allows you to keep track of your health, energy, stamina and other resources that you might use in the game. If you look at the video footage I'm showing you now, in the top left corner you will see the red bar. That one, as you probably figured it out, is responsible for your health points, in short, HP. Whenever you get attacked, whenever you um, jump into lava, for example, you will lose your health. Obviously, if your health drops down to zero, then you die. So make sure you always have at least one point in the red bar. The bar below it is your energy bar. This one I like to refer as a flame bar. So how this one works is Whenever you have an element active and you use an element ability or one of your fire attacks such as fireball or fire breath, you'll be losing different amounts of flame bar based on different abilities that you're using at the time. So for example when you're holding down circle and you're breathing fire, your flame bar will be slowly declining until you stop breathing fire, while if you just tap it once and you press circle and you shoot the fireball, it will take maybe one fifth of the bar and then obviously it will start regenerating slowly as well. So you'll have to manage your resources and make sure you've always got enough flame bar because if you don't you will pretty much be cut off from all your special abilities and flame attacks. 
so yeah watch out for the orange bar the last and the final bar is the little green bar that you can see below the flame bar what that one does it keeps track of your stamina because combating glides is going to be very dynamic you will have to rely on your dodging skills to dodge the enemy attacks so the stamina bar is mainly used for dashing and dodging abilities so when you're in combat and you want to dodge the enemy attack you'll have to spend a bit of your stamina bar to dodge this attack if you keep just spamming the dash and hoping for the best then obviously you'll quickly run out of stamina and you might not be able to to dodge the next incoming attack which could eventually lead to your doom so now that we know what's what in the ui let's take a look at the most important feature in the whole combat system the elements in glide you will be able to choose between eight different elements for combat and exploration some of them will be more useful in combat while others will be a bit more of a utility elements providing you with passive abilities such as health regeneration or maybe quicker movement speed each of the elements will also come with a unique set of its own abilities those abilities you will be able to use in many different ways and situations you will also be able to switch the elements on the fly so you can mix and match different abilities create awesome new combos and you also will be able to find your unique and perfect play style the first of the elements that we have is the fire element the fire element provides glide with fire immunity so you can walk through fire you can swim in lava without taking any damage it also allows Glide to set enemies on fire and deal damage over time. So when you shoot an enemy with a fireball or you burn them with your fire breath, they will start burning and they will take damage over time. Next one is the lightning. Lightning element comes with the passive ability that allows Glide to attack a lot faster than any other elements. You will be dealing slightly less damage with your basic attacks but you'll be able to pull off combos a lot quicker. Your fire breath along with your fireball will also be changed. Your fire breath is going to be replaced by a series of lightning projectiles that pierce through the enemies, zapping them. They will be dealing small amount of damage, but they will be damaging multiple enemies at the same time as the electricity will arc through them. Your fireball is just a simple uh, lightning bolt projectile. After lightning comes the ice. Ice is the only element that will allow you to slow your enemies down and eventually freeze them for a couple seconds. Your fireball will change into piercing ice shard so it will pierce through the enemies slowing them and your fire breath changes into the ice breath which again applies those uh, slow stacks to the enemies. Once the enemies collect about 5 stacks or so then they become frozen in place for 5 seconds. The ice element is really useful against fast enemies that keep chasing you and you can't get them off your back. You might want to slow some of them down to go to run and escape to a safe position or maybe to rethink your tactics to approach them in a different way. So the earth element is going to be a bit of a weird one. It will be a combat element but it will be focused on a bit of a defensive side of things. So with this element active you will be provided with a passive shield that will absorb set amount of damage. Whilst in the earth element Glide would also be able to, uh, to deal a lot of AoE physical damage around him. The trade off for this will be that he will be a lot slower than in any other element. So this one will probably not be something that you'll be running around us all the time but it will be very useful to switch during combat. Let's say you're in, I don't know, you're fighting in a lightning element and then you want to finish your enemy off with some AoE physical damage. Then you would switch to earth gaining this passive shield and then you'll be able to finish that enemy off without dying possibly. Um, I also got a really cool idea for the ultimate ability for this element but I cannot spoil it yet so yeah sorry guys. <laughs> Next one up is crystal element so this one will be kinda like it will make the, the glide an embodiment of pure arcane magic. Um, crystals is, they are going to be a big part of the game and of this world um, I mean that's the main kind of currency that you will be collecting and stuff so I kind of want to make this element something that's showing that those crystals are not just coins they're something more and they got a lot of energy and power hidden inside them so we still need to think about different uh, kind of special moves and and uh, passive ability and what they will do uh, 
so yeah there's not much to show yet you can see that uh, here I'm just uh, shooting some uh, like black hole fireball things but yeah I I'm pretty sure crystal will be uh, one of the coolest elements as well once we've done with it so yeah for that one we just have to stay put after crystal comes wind wind is going to be an element that will be providing you with uh, this passive ability to run faster glide quicker fly quicker as well you'll be able to dodge a lot faster in combat as well so at the moment for example dodging takes 25 stamina to dodge so effectively you can dodge maybe about uh, four times when fighting enemies in wind this amount will probably be doubled so it will be an element focusing on maybe running away dodging um, incoming attacks waiting for an opening and then you'll be able to switch to a different element and uh, you know finish the job so wind will be more of a um, actual kind of utility element as, as we like to call them rather than a combat element so it won't be dealing a lot of damage and stuff however for example its projectile will be something that will be knocking enemies into the air with this uh, white projectile that you can actually see on the screen now so uh, there's a lot of uh, things to play with I definitely want to know that I want the wind elements to provide you with quicker movement speed when exploring as well so when people think for example that just the default running speed is you know too slow and they get bored for whatever reason then they might be able to just burst through all the levels with wind active and uh, running a bit faster so then we got water. Uh, water is another utility element. This is a situational element. Is This is something that will not deal a lot of damage. Uh, it's more about crowd control. So for example, um, your fireball is changed into this water kind of bubble thing. So you shoot those water bubbles. If you catch the enemy in one, they get lifted into the air and trapped in the bubble, effectively being stunned for, uh, I think it's about three seconds at the moment or so. So you'll be able to pick off a couple enemies. For example, when there's a, a lot of enemies attacking you at a certain time, then you'll be able to pick maybe two or three of them, trap them in the bubble and then focus on the remaining to, to make it a bit easier for you. Water element is also giving Glide passive ability to breathe underwater without time limit. Without the water element active, uh, there will be a time limit. So for example, some areas underwater may not be accessible because you will just run out of breath and die. If you got the water element active, then you don't have to worry about this because you'll be just able to um, swim as much as you want in there. So the last element that we have here is one of my favorites and it's nature. So the nature element is going to be focused on healing abilities, um, restoring the order to the world, purifying the corruption and obviously healing glide as I mentioned. Um, the passive of this element is basically um, restoring health over time so whenever you get damaged and stuff or even if you're just exploring and let's say you got half of your HP you switch to nature and you start regenerating HP um, every second um, eventually if you keep it on long enough you can restore whole HP uh, it will be very slow though so it's not going to be OP it will be a slow uh, health regeneration so you won't be able to exploit it in a way that let's say you can stay in nature whenever fighting with enemies and they won't be able to kill you because that's not gonna happen um, so the, the regeneration is very small uh, but it's the and it's also the only mean to actually recover HP in the game so you will have to make use of this element to basically survive um, the, the nature element will also come with, uh, with a bit bigger healing ability but this is something they will be used, uh, able to use every now and then and obviously the ultimate ability which you'll, you'll be able to see a bit later during my gameplay so now with all the elements out the way, we can now take a look at the little gameplay I've prepared for you. I did my best to play nice and try to show off as much as I could, but obviously the enemies, they still, even though they're very basic, they're very annoying. So yeah, I hope you like the gameplay. And just bear that in mind that obviously everything that you see here is very early work in progress and it will be improved upon and it will look a lot better in the final game. Enjoy!
Now, there is a reason why I left the ultimate attack of the nature element for the last. The corruption is spreading in the world of Glide. The events at the start of the game that set the whole story in motion affected not only the dragons themselves, it also affected the actual world that the dragons live in. And now, it's up to you and Glide to purify the world of the corruption and make sure that everyone can live in peace again. I also wanted to reveal a new soundtrack made by NWDM for the game. This one is called Corrupted Visions, and that's the kind of music you will be able to hear when venturing throughout corrupted areas and fighting the enemies in them. As for the corruption itself, it will be spawning enemies in there until it's purified by Glide. Whenever Glide is in the corrupted area, he will be taking damage over time, so you have to make sure you're trying to defeat the enemies in there as quick as possible and purify the area before it kills you. Before we call it the night and we finish the video, there's one more thing I wanted to show you and it's amazing and it's something that I'm very proud of. So I wanted to show you our own unique concept art of design for Glide. 
So yes, Glide will be a unique dragon in the final game. The dragons that I'm using now, while they're very high quality and awesome dragons, they are still just placeholder models bought from Unreal Marketplace. Um, many other different games are using those dragons as well and while, as I said, they're very good and awesome, um, they're not making my game unique enough. Um, that's why I felt like we do need an original design for Glide. So we've been playing with ideas, I've been talking to different people and one day NWDM introduced me to his friend and she started doodling Glide and based on his traits and you know obviously the description of him how he's going to be like what his personality is going to be that he's going to be brave and serious and determined she's managed to come up with this beautiful design and when I looked at it first I was amazed it was just as I had it in my head she somehow managed to transfer my thoughts onto paper and I, ha I, I just knew I have to own this design. So we got talking, we agreed on the price, I've purchased the rights to the design, so now it's official that that's how Glide will look in the final game. So what I have to do now guys is I have to ask you for help. Since I've already got the design now, I need a 3D character modeler that will be able to make the dragon for me. I don't have a huge budget. Um, I spoke with one person already. He quoted me about $450 to make Glide a real 3D model for the game. Um, that included all the textures and materials as well. Um, the person who I was waiting for about a month, uh, unfortunately, in the end, didn't do it for me because he was not able to. Um, he landed a job in a studio that he said he didn't expect to get and unfortunately he, he obviously apologized but he said that unfortunately he's not able to do it for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm just trying to find someone else. Um, if you guys know anyone, if you want to see this beautiful you know, model in the game, then I need your help. Share the video around share it on Twitter, uh, let people know that I'm looking, I am willing to pay for this obviously if someone is able to take about $400 for this model um, then I will pay this. Um, if it's going to cost more I'm sure we might be able to agree on um, you know some kind of a payment after the game is released or maybe if a Kickstarter is successful or something um, you know we'll find something out but I really would love to have this unique model in the game as soon as possible. I am doing my best to make this game for you guys. I believe that you deserve a good dragon game because there really isn't a lot of good dragons games out there. We've got Spyro and uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I love Spyro myself as well, but I think someone needs to take the crown and I feel like Glide would be a perfect candidate for a new king of, you know, dragon games. Um, probably not gonna happen, but the man can dream, I guess. No, I'm sure Glide and Spyro could be friends. Maybe we could have like a crossover game one day or something, but you know, you never know. The more popular the project gets, the more people know about it, the bigger things we can do. And a lot of people told me this project has huge potential and I can see the potential as well. I feel like with your support guys we can make this game a reality and one day we can all have it on the shelf on our PlayStation 5 or 6 or you know depends how long this game <laughs> will take to make. Um, but yeah so that will be the end of this video. Make sure you join the Discord, that's very very important. If you want to be up to date with everything that we post on there, just click the link down below. It doesn't cost you anything and you will stay up to date. I also wanted to mention that I have a Patreon and if any of you guys would like to support Glide a bit more um, and support me, maybe allow me to work on Glide full time one day, then that's probably the best way to do it. You can also help me and Glide in many other different ways. Keep sharing the video, send it to your friends, family, post it on Reddit, post it on your Twitter. Um, 
I will also link Glide's Twitter down below as well. I will post this video on there as well, so you can retweet it if you like. Um, and yeah, just you know, leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to see what you think about all the features that you've seen so far. That was a long video, so thank you for your patience and see you in the next one. Bye bye.